Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to To Be Determined. Today we're going to be going over the armor progression of farming as well as the tool progression and the pet progression. So if you guys enjoyed today's video or you learn anything, remember to leave a like and sub if you haven't already and let's jump into it. All right, so the first thing that you're going to want to do is be at least skyblock level five. This is really easy to do. It takes about 20 minutes of work, but you gain access to the garden. And this is really where the entirety of farming progression begins. Now, even if you've like farmed some wheat in the hub before you hit farming level five or skyblock level five, that is fine. But the main progression after this point is going to be based on your farming level. So we're not really going to go over the plots and when you should get which plot. We're just going to talk about the armor and gear. But there are actually a few things that you can get without having any farming levels. They are a little bit pricey though. All of these tools on the bottom row here, you don't need a farming level for. The pumpkin dicer, melon dicer, cactus knife, fungi cutter, and Cocoa Chopper, you can just get them instantly whenever you want, but they do cost a bit of money. Cocoa Chopper is about three mil, Fungi Cutter is about three mil, Cactus Knife varies, but at the moment it's almost four mil. Then Melon Dicer is very pricey and Pumpkin Dicer very pricey once you have them at level three, but you don't have to buy a level three to start with. You can just buy the lowest level, which goes for about three mil. So if you're just getting into farming, but you've done a lot of money grinding, you have a little bit of money to jumpstart your grind, I do recommend buying at least one of those tools if you can. Pumpkin Dicer is probably the best one to start with just because you only need garden level four to start using it. So that's the earliest one that you can use. Then there's melon you can get at garden level six, cactus at level seven, cocoa at eight, fungi at nine. But there are some other things that you can get here. The Lotus equipment is found in the Sky Mart. Now you don't wanna buy this directly from the Sky Mart because copper is soul bound. So you're gonna to wanna to save that because you'll be needing that for other upgrades later on. But you can buy it from the auction house. You can see the whole set's pretty cheap, about three mil for the whole set, four mil. But to buy the full set, that you do need garden level five and at least a farming level of 10 which I mean farming is pretty easy to do especially getting only to level 10 that shouldn't take long now there are some other things that you don't need any requirements for it is just money the first of which is the rabbit pet now this isn't going to directly give you any farming fortune but you can see it's really cheap only 1.3 million coins right now and it does give you a farming wisdom boost so basically you're going to gain 30 extra farming xp once it's at level 100 now i don't recommend buying a level 100 you can try and craft this on your own it's pretty cheap to attempt to craft so that's what i would really recommend doing you can just buy two of these if you have decent pet luck and at the most you craft an epic you can sell it back and only lose like 60k or you can craft a legendary and save 750k and it only requires 100 raw rabbit collection which is really easy to do so that's definitely a good starting pet to get but if you're looking for some farming fortune upgrades your next option is going to be the mushroom cow now these are a little bit more pricey 8.2 million coins and how good it is is based on how much strength you have so if you're pretty low level it's not going to be the biggest upgrade but still 11 farming fortune is nothing to scoff at and once you're higher level this will be one of the best pets in the game to use for farming it's actually the best pet to use for money making from farming so i do recommend getting one of these at some point but one of the best starters is legendary elephant however it is not nice on the perch 19 million coins right now but it does give the most farming fortune for whatever crop you're mining specifically unlike the mushroom cow it doesn't give mushrooms or any other drop besides whatever crop you're going for so it is the best pet to use for jacob's contest as well so it is really good to have but again 19 million coins right now at the lowest bin so you're gonna need a pretty big head start to afford that now let's move on to the next farming level that is actually going to unlock some requirements which is farming level 15 once you get to this level you can craft rabbit armor rabbit armor is the first armor set that gives farming fortune now it is a little bit pricey at the moment around 3 million coins for a full set but the full set gives 70 bonus farming fortune so it's definitely a good investment but that's not all you unlock at farming level 15 you also unlock the lantern helmet now the lantern helmet is really not going to be worth it at farming 15 and it is only good when you're holding an axe so it's pretty decent later on but for it to be better than the rabbit helmet it needs to be used at farming level 25 but before you hit farming level 25 you'll unlock the farmer boots at farming level 18. now these get farming fortune based on your farming level as well so again these won't be worth it until you're farming 25. same thing for the rancher's boots the upgraded version of farmer boots it's unlocked at farming 21. now these are really useful you can set your speed with these so even though they don't give a bunch of farming fortune 
they can be better if you're having trouble getting the right speed and once you hit farming 60 they do give more farming fortune than fermento gear which is the best armor in the game for farming but before we get to fermento we have to talk about melon armor this is unlocked at farming level 25 and it gives a really good amount of farming fortune plus it gives a chance to drop crappies which are used to make the upgraded version of melon armor crappie armor we'll talk about that in a second but it does make farming make a lot more money once you have this set now the set is a little bit more pricey about 6.5 million coins right now but it is very worth it now the upgraded version crappie armor is unlocked at farming level 30 and it costs a bit to upgrade it but again it is worth it you're getting more farming fortune plus you get the ability to drop squashes from farming pumpkins, melons, and cocoa beans, and that makes more money than dropping crappies from wheat, carrots, and potato. And what are squashes used for? Well, they're used to make the squash armor unlocked at farming 35. These give the chance to drop fermentos from sugarcane, cacti, mushrooms, and netherwort, and fermento armor again used to make the fermento gear which is the best farming armor in the game so again very worth the upgrade and finally we do go to fermento which is also worth the upgrade and it gives you all of the abilities of the previous armor sets so you can drop crappies you can drop squash you can drop fermentos from their respective crops so the best for money making the best for farming fortune the best period now if you're a skyblock levels gamer like myself and you're going for these crop milestones it is going to be better to run three-fourths fermento with rancher boots instead of the fermento boots but that is only past farming level 55 and the same thing goes for the lantern helmet it will be better than fermento helmet past farming level 55 but that is only if you are holding an axe so it's only good for melons and pumpkin now that we've talked about the armors let's talk about the tools we already went over all of the weird tools the cutters knives choppers dicers now we need to talk about the hose now i do recommend again buying these from the auction house you can buy them from anita here but it does cost gold medals to get the blueprint and i recommend spending those gold medals on extra farming drops and your farming level cap instead but if you do buy these tools do not look up the tool and be like all right euclid's Sweet ho, I'll buy this for 4 mil. You can actually just buy the blueprint going for 3.4 mil and it like costs nothing to upgrade it from the blueprint to whichever tool you want. All you need is eight stacks of whichever hoe that you decide. And these are your options. You've got sugarcane, carrot, nether warts wheat and potato now the upgrades to these are pretty wild there are three different tiers of each one that you can upgrade so today we're just going to use the euclid's wheat hoe as an example you can see it only costs eight stacks of wheat to upgrade from the blueprint to the wheat hoe but then the second upgrade gives much better rates 15 extra farming fortune and an extra farming wisdom for wheat plus the logarithmic counter and it only costs four stacks of enchanted hay bales one stack of jacob's tickets but then there's the next upgrade which is a lot more pricey a full stack of tightly tied hay bales and four stacks of jacob's ticket but again it is worth it you get extra wheat extra farming fortune it's really really nice but the rarity will also upgrade depending on how much you have farmed so you can see here i have farmed 12 million wheat which is why the euclid's wheat hoe is epic rarity while all my other tools are at blue because they're all beneath 10 million counter. So once you hit 10 mil counter, it increases a rarity, plus every extra digit is an extra 16 farming fortune. So you can get the rarity of this thing up to mythic, but that does require a recombobulator, not to mention 100 million count. But yeah, all of these have pretty expensive upgrades. So the wheat hoe, again, requires a full stack of tightly tied hay bales, which a quarter of a stack is 19 million. So that's pretty expensive. Then there's the potato hoe, which requires four stacks of enchanted baked potatoes, sugar cane, four stacks of enchanted sugar cane, carrot, four stacks of enchanted golden carrots, and mutant nether wart for the nether wart. But if you're going for a bill counter on each crop, for scabbock levels it is worth it now again this is all just the gear upgrades that we're talking about so upgrades to your crop upgrades here we didn't go over but these are again worth it if you're doing visitors here then they are definitely going to be worth it if you have extra copper lying around make sure to spend it on these crop upgrades at least up to level seven past that it does cost a lot more copper so that's up to you if you want to go for that now there are a few early game things that i didn't go over that's mainly because they're extremely easy to skip you can buy a rookie hoe here if if you want to just to farm wheat for a little bit but you don't have to it is good just to start off i mean it literally costs like 10 coins so that's a good starting point point. and then there are some tools in the sky mart that you can get the basic gardening hoe and the advanced gardening hoe same thing for the axes which now that they've put replenish on these i didn't realize they'd done that they might actually be worth it but 
generally like i said can buy these but you won't be using them for long once you hit garden level four you do want to buy a pumpkin dicer so that you can just go grind some pumpkin until you can get enough money to buy the other tools and enough farming level to buy the other tools that is all for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed if you did remember to leave a like and sub if you haven't already and be sure to let me know in the comments if i missed anything skyblock is a huge game so it is very possible that i missed something and i know some of you guys have been farming for way longer than i have so any assistance is appreciated but yeah thanks for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next one God bless.